everyone. Hey, welcome. This is the, the first real like conference of predictable revenues had called the Own Your Growth event, Own Your Growth Conference. And so let me, this is Aaron Ross, right? Wrote Predictable Revenue and From Impossible to Inevitable. I'm joined uh, by my co-CEO, Colin Stewart here. Colin, you want to say hi? Hey, everybody. Can you, I uh, don't know if I'm, you can see my view, but I'm also, I'm doing something interesting right now. I'm streaming uh, to Twitch for the first time. Uh, we chose Twitch because it had a really nice platform. And if you see me looking down to the right, it's because I'm in my bedroom. I've got a second monitor here. It's to do with the streaming surface. Um, but we're going to be streaming all of these because I just thought joining 100 Zooms over two days is going to be a pain. Um, so check your email. Uh, we also have a Slack community. Uh, so make sure you check out that. We'll be throwing links to the, to the Twitch stream. Um, you can also check out... The, the place where you registered, growth.predictablerevenue.com, has an embed of the Twitch stream. Um, so if you want to just, if that's easier to check out, you're welcome to check that out. But if you want to, if you want to actually chat with us and ask questions, then Zoom is the place to be. Sounds great. Yeah. Um, you know, this, the Twitch, know about it, haven't used it, but want to take a look at it. Anyway, trying some new things. Also, we've got Sarah Hicks here, who's going to be doing a lot of the emceeing. So Sarah, do you want to introduce yourself? And by the way, Colin and Sarah, both out of Vancouver. Yes. Um, so I'm senior SDR at Predictable Revenue. Um, I help Colin out with the podcast hosting sometimes. So you maybe would have seen me there. Um, yeah, looking forward to chatting to every one of our guests and getting all of our attendees' questions answered. I think it's going to be a really exciting couple of days. Yeah. So uh, actually, I'm going to get Sarah, can I put you on the spot for a second? Do it. Okay, great. Okay, so this is called the Own Your Growth Conference, and that comes actually from one of our uh, company values. That's right. Uh, and by the way, I'd be curious to see how many people on this actually have kids or dogs to come in invading. It happens to be almost every time, so we'll just see how long it takes. <laughs> but uh, so Own Your Growth is one of our company values at predictablerevenue.com. Sarah, so what to you does Own Your Growth mean? Um, I think the biggest thing is... Sorry? Mm -hmm. Put nine in the spot, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Um, the biggest thing for me is um, to constantly be working on yourself and kind of honing your skills. Um, and that can be growth as in your growth trajectory within the company that you work for or in any kind of personal hobbies or personal growth. But it's um, that kind of being active and wanting to constantly work on things and, and be learning and taking everything in constantly um, and kind of not waiting for other people to train you or other people to suggest things or other people to show you the way, but for you to kind of find that all on your own and take a step. And absolutely, sometimes you'll need a little guidance, but it's about kind of owning it as, as it says in the yep. quote. Great. A uh, great answer. And again, the taking responsibility for making things happen for yourself and your business. So that's why I know um, I'll share some of the talks I'm excited about and give you guys a turn. But for example, we not only have people like Mark Roberts talking about the science of scaling, uh, but we also have Lavinia Hicks, who's actually someone from our own company, talking about how she went from new hire to leadership within 18 months. Right. So we're mixing up some things that really are for your business, how your business can grow, but also like how, you know, business is made up of people. How can you as a person or a team grow? Because that's going to help drive your business as well. So I don't know, Colin or Sarah, do you guys have any uh, talks or topics that you're particularly interested in? Yeah, I'll take one and then Sarah, Sarah, you can take a turn. But I mean, there are a bunch of great speakers and, uh, and guests that we have coming on. Um, but I think, you know, the one I'm excited um, about today is Jamie Buss. Uh, not that I'm not excited about any of the others, um, but uh, Jamie's been on the podcast before. It's been probably the most watched podcast episode, um, partially because I suspect, or I know that uh, she's VP of sales over at Zendesk, and we talked about uh, basically how to qualify and, and forecast your pipeline. And uh, they actually use her podcast as internal training as part of, the, as part of their internal sales program. Um, so I'm excited to have Jamie on the show. Um, she's a legend and uh, has worked with, if you've read The Hard Thing About Hard Things, she, uh, she trained under Mark Cranny, who's over at uh, Andreessen Horowitz. Um, so um, yeah, really great, uh, really great guest. I'm super excited to hear her share what makes a great boss. Sarah, what, what about you? 
I'm most excited about the, the round table session. So we've got a couple, we've got one with Patrick McLean and another one with Olivia Jarvis. So one on hone your pitch, one on how to build a, a sales organization that you're proud of. And I just think that format is going to be really interesting. It's going to be great for everyone to kind of collaborate and it's more of a, a workshop format. And I think that's a pretty amazing thing uh, for us to be doing virtually. So I'm really excited to see how those ones go. Yeah. So everyone, you obviously you've got your agendas uh, online. Um, and there's a lot of things for everyone, but again, this idea of how can you, as an, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're uh, in sales or whatever your, your role is, how can you take, be more proactive? That's really what predictable revenue is about, or a lot of it. Yeah, it's systematic growth, but also being proactive with how do you go make things happen, whether you're you know, an outbound prospector or an entrepreneur or just or anyone in a company. So you know, I'm excited to do this. We've wanted to do this kind of event for a long time, finally making it happen. And I think other things of note, Colin mentioned the live streaming, right? So we'll do that. There's a Slack community. So today, this is my only like, talk today. So tomorrow I've got a couple sessions, one with Teen Swo, a fireside chat. And if you don't know Teen, he's the CEO and uh, co-founder of Zora. They probably are a couple hundred million ARR now. And he's going to be talking about how this downturn has been different from the prior ones and how he's approaching it, what he's learned, how he's applying it now. He's probably been through at least three. We'll see. That's uh, a fireside chat tomorrow. And then uh, doing a talk on how it grew $5 million business while having nine kids at the same time. But as for today, I'm going to do a, a Q&A on the Slack community in a few hours. So the Slack is going to be where, especially a lot of the commenting, threading, workshopping is going to happen. I know, again, in your emails, uh, in fact, uh, Sebastian, if you could throw a link to the Q and A, uh, that's the place you want to also be to get more of the behind the scene chatter and commenting and questions for speakers too. So the format is going to be a lot of the times we'll have speakers. Now you'll see Sarah a lot, probably Con a lot. And as we go, we want to hear from you. Um, I know we've got had some questions in already. And actually, the first question I'm kind of curious too is Colin. You have says uh, Andre said you have an amazing audio setup. What, yeah. uh, what kind of setup do you got? So uh, amazing, but I'm actually being stood up by Sarah right now, the big jerk who showed up with the nice $500 podcast microphone. Um, I'm rocking a $7 Amazon pop filter. Um, that's barely hanging on. Um, I've got a Shure SM58 uh, powered by a Steinberg uh, UR Mark, UR22 Mark II. And then I've got a Tube MPC preamp. Um, so it basically goes mic, the Shure SM58 into the Tube MPC preamp into the UR22 into my laptop. Um, held together by a tiny little dongle perched in my bedroom on a cardboard box on styrofoam on a dresser. And then there's Sarah over here, the big jerk, who actually looks like a pro broadcaster. And that's the sure, I can't remember the, the model number of it. SM7B, it was actually Michael Jackson's recording microphone, if anyone was wondering. Yeah. So if you've seen any, any podcasts lately, like the Joe Rogan show, or basically anybody that has, you know, more than, uh, I don't know, a few thousand, that gets like, you know, anybody that gets like millions of downloads an episode, they're going to look like Sarah. Yeah. That's good. So before we had a few minutes, I think obviously we got something going on in the world. Don't even need to mention it. Um, but I thought before we lead into this own your growth conference, which again, part of the reason we want to make sure that we're getting as many tips out there to people who need help as possible. Um, I just think it's easy to think or wish that things would go back to the way they were, that schools will reopen, restaurants will reopen. Um, you, whatever you're, you're, whether you know it or not, this kind of clinging to things that go back to the way were in 2019, and it's not going to happen. So I think it is fundamentally important towards getting through this what they call it a pandemic, uh, a recession to be, that big recession hasn't even hit yet, is to embrace the reality, is to, um, again, own your growth and basically dive into it to make the most of it. Because what I, the way I think about it is, you know, this great disruption, like the world's never seen a disruption this big, which means that there's never been an opportunity this big. And there's never been a better time to recreate yourself or your business. And there probably won't be for who knows how long. But having said that, the thing is, there, this could go on for another year or two. And there, there's going to be surprises. We don't know what they are because otherwise it wouldn't be called surprises. But this is going to go on longer than people realize. An actual recession is likely. You have, it's like, how do you adapt to that new world rather than to resist it? And that could apply to things like, for a lot, of, a lot of you, your old sales quotas and activity goals need to be thrown out the window for some, some portion of you here. 
There's if you were in face to face selling, that's not coming back for a long time. Even when it does, it's going to come back in a much smaller, different way. The remote sales management, again, here to stay. There may be some, some people going back to work in small groups at some point, but you kind of have to assume that the way things are now is going gonna, is gonna to be closer to this than it, in a few months or maybe later this year. My assumption is that the world would be more like it is today than it was last year. Things are not going to go back to they were, the way they were quickly at all. And even so, everything's going to be more virtual, more remote, and just different. So this is our chance, like how can you get the most out of these two days to get some new ideas, to pivot more quickly, to change more confidently, and to basically again, take charge of your own personal growth and business's growth. I don't know if anyone uh, has any com disagreements or agreements either in, with Colin or Sarah or on the chat zone, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a rough... I like the analogy. I think somebody shared it the other day was, you know, it's like throwing, you know, when something like this happens, it's a bunch of puzzle pieces get tossed up in the air and how they're going to land and what they look like once they land, who knows, but it's going to create new little gaps, new opportunities. Um, and sort of the, you know, it took us a while to stumble across the name. We had a bunch of different names for, um, for this conference, but we, we actually ended up, like Aaron mentioned, going to one of our values. And one of the values is own your growth. And that's sort of like get shit done, you know, continually try new things and, and like, and own that. Um, and, you know, we'd all, you know, when, you know, when Saster was canceled uh, or pushed delayed or whatnot, and all these, you know, COVID, it was canceling all travel. We realized like, Hey, there's going to be, we think there's going to be a gap. Let's try something new. Um, and I just kind of casually threw it to the, to the team, like, Hey, let's do a virtual conference. Um, and I got a, you know, big shout out to the team. They just sort of said, yes, we'll do it. They'd never, none of them had, you know, we'd done webinars and we'd done, you know, like podcasts and live podcasts, but we never done something with this many people. Um, and to, to all the people on, on our rev team and specifically the marketing team team that was, uh, didn't bat an eye when I was like, hey, let's do this. And also let's stream. Um, by the way, Julian just mentioned we had 110 people uh, streaming on uh, on Twitch right now, which is uh, in 340 people in the Zoom room. So that that's pretty cool. Um, thank you all for showing up. Thank you to the, the Rev team for getting this all together. Um, you know, we were having, you know, we were working on things up until sort of yesterday to make sure we pulled this off. As you can see on Twitch, my image is not perfectly lined up with Aaron and Sarah, um, but we are going to, you know, we'll figure this out. Uh, the Twitch channel is Predrev, P-R-E-D-R-E-V. Um, you can also check it out in, uh, I think it's growth.predictablerevenue.com, uh, which is the, the site where you signed up. I believe we have it embedded there. Um, so if you want to tune in later today, you can just leave that Twitch window open. Um, I'll, I'll do my best. If you want to jump in and comment on anything, um, Zoom is the best place or the Slack channel. Uh, so if you're on Twitch and you want to chat, we've got people monitoring and hanging out in that Slack channel. Uh, so feel free, jump in there and uh, let us know what you're thinking. And, and coming up next year, we've got, we're going to jump and see, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to, to do this on, um, on Twitch instead of on Zoom is because now I have to, we've got a, a talk with Kyle Racky from Proposify coming up um, in a minute. And I have to kill this Zoom with 330 people in it. Um, and then, um, and then start a new zoom and hopefully people are lining up for that one. Um, and we're going to lose all these great chats. I really appreciate everybody jumping in and, and having a good conversation here. Um, this is, this is the most lively group we've had. Um, I really hope you'll follow us over. Um, I'm going to just copy and paste the link to the next chat or to the next zoom in the chat here. So if you are all, um, I think that I'm hoping that's not my, I hope you all don't, don't try and join as a, uh, as me, maybe that's just the panelist link. Um, but check your email and uh, check your email. Join us there because uh, the pot, the episode with Kyle Racky from Proposify is starting next. Um, Kyle is he's been on the, on the show before. Uh, basically, they're walking us through how you build a SaaS a SaaS sales. SaaS sales team from scratch, um, and they would have, they they know how to do it. They've been from sort of zero to a few million in ARR in a very quickly period, a very quick period, uh, and they've gone from a few million to much much larger. I, he told me the number, but I, I don't want to say it because I don't know if he was cool with me sharing that out. Um, but uh, 
yeah, everybody, thanks for, for jumping on this, this intro. Let's see you on the, the next Zoom with Kyle Racky for Proposify. If you're on the Twitch, just hang out. I'm going to kill this Zoom and jump on the next one. And hopefully it's, uh, everything still works. Mm -hmm.